Then for business as usual on Saturday, it's after Evergy worked to restore power Friday afternoon. It comes as businesses only learned late Thursday afternoon that power would be cut after the mall's management company failed to pay its electric bill and that power cut happened Friday morning. I kind of thought it was an April Fool's joke and I forgot we're in September. Dominic Lopez's shirt Friday expressing how he's feeling as his Town West Square store was left in the dark. It's after a similar situation was narrowly avoided in June. Three months ago when everything was happening, everybody gave them the benefit of the doubt like, hey, we took care of this, we took care of that. And I think just getting the letter and then them finally cutting off the lights, I think it kind of puts everybody in a, basically their hands tied. He runs an embroidery and custom shirts business with locations at Town East and Town West malls. But he's feeling frustration with the management company at Town West after they missed their electric bill. I want to know is where's my money going to? Because every month we sit here, we're paying for bills, we're paying for gas, we're paying for lights. Where's that money going? He says it's leaving him and many other tenants ready to relocate. And in our lease, it says they're supposed to pay the bills. So if they're not paying the bills, I don't really have time to, you know, really look into the lease or, or try to sue them. For Dominic, the main thing is getting back to business. We'll definitely get up and going tomorrow running, you know, and we appreciate everybody that's understanding. Friday's power cut didn't impact the mall's main anchor stores as they have their own accounts with Evergy and are in good standing. The impact was felt, though, by the small businesses.